Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're well. Uh, we're back in Pine Valley Zoo again and uh, we're going to be working on our habitat with our crocodiles and uh, alligators and all the swimming reptiles in today but we've also been doing a few other bits just off camera. Uh, end of the last episode had to be cut short because my girlfriend uh, arrived home early so I had to shoot off and see her um, but you'll see that I have put the Galapagos tortoises into this part of the habitat. Uh, I've given them some water, some food and their, their little uh, enrichment food items here as well. So this habitat uh, is that size which is fine for these tortoises so what I do need to do is build a nice um, edge uh, for the barrier down here um, which is probably what I'm going to do first. I've also put another trade center in here because I think the way these work is that once you've bought an animal they could be accessed from any of the trade centers so I think just to speed things up if I build that there it means that animals at this part of the zoo can come out of here instead. Um, so obviously I need to blend all of this in over here. I don't think I've done much else. Um, everything else was done in the last episode. I think we put these in here, didn't we? And obviously we've got this. It's going to become our marketplace up the top here. Um, we've got our cave here with the viewing area here, which obviously I need to put some glass into and some lighting and that sort of thing. So yeah, there's an awful lot still to do, but at least our tortoises are in. And our two females are already pregnant, so we've got some babies on the way, which is good. Um, so yeah, I suppose it makes sense to do the um, the barrier first. Now what I want to do with this is something a little bit different. It's not massively different. I don't want to use the in-game barriers. I want to create something with rocks. I want it to look natural but not natural. Obviously it's not natural because it's it's been artificially put in. But I, I, I kind of want to do it with rocks but, but other things as well. Just make it look... Um, I don't know, a bit higgledy piggledy. Is that <laughs> that's that's an English term. If you don't know what higgledy piggledy means, um, it just means a bit messy, you know, a bit disorganised. Um, just because I, I just want to try out different different things, you know, different techniques. Um, now I've got to be careful, obviously, and, and make sure that I get the lines right. See, I think that rock is probably too far over. That probably needs to come more over to here. So what I'm going to have to do is, okay, so you just check. The, the line of the barrier yeah that's fine that's a good line that I've got there so far so let's come back into this um, so yeah I want to I want to use a combination of big rocks and small rocks um, but then I want to get some foliage in some sort of forward and logs that kind of thing as well because um, I don't want it to look really big you know I don't want it to um, to look like a big sort of impassable barrier. I just want it to look I don't know. I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, but anyway, I'm just going to keep building. You'll get the idea um, What else do we have here? We've got these ones. They're, they're not great, but I can kind of use it Sunk into the ground a little bit like that Yeah, I don't, I don't mind just having a little bit poking it or oh, looks like a little <laughs> two eyes and a, and a nose there isn't it or I suppose it could be something else rude if you uh, if you looked at it this way <laughs> yeah don't do that um <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh that's my childishness coming out there I'm afraid uh right where are we we need a something a little bit bigger up here I reckon maybe one of these just in here like that good 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 yeah right now let's come into uh, let's come into this one and find some logs I don't know what logs we've got that actually look nice and natural this yeah I mean they're, they're very straight logs but I, I think I can make them look decent so this is what I'm thinking is I just want them to look like they're just kind of leaning you know, and, and creating a a bit of a barrier without it really looking too strong and in your face kind of thing. You know, just like it's a, a little a couple of sort of little piles of logs. Stuff like that, you know, it's not 
yeah, it's it's fine because it's going to stop the tortoises from crossing, but it almost looks sort of homemade, temporary, you know, that that kind of thing. Um, let's 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 do a bit more logs. Actually, I might just get one more here, kind of lying across them that way as well. Actually, I think that makes sense. It's hard to see where they're touching. There we go, that just needs to come down a bit like that. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? Now, I know technically, obviously, like things like the alligators could just run across that if they really wanted to, but it's fine. I just want to, I'm just trying to create a different look, you know. As I'm always saying in the game, it's very hard to keep coming up with new ideas for things. So sometimes you just got to try, you know. And obviously, it's a game. You just want it to look nice. You want it, you want to, you want to be creative with it. You just want to. You just want to try new things and that's absolutely fine if it, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and that is all good actually let's flip that one over and bring it and let's bring it back to there and let's put it uh, like that but not like that if that makes sense uh something like that is that yeah okay let's do that and then let's just get one more here i think lying in here something like that good and obviously i'll put some foliage around these as well so it's um you know just to fill in the gaps this is a big gap here i might need some more rocks in there i don't know what else i've got i shall tell you one thing i i might try we've got these pallets haven't we could even do like just a little pile of pallets why not you know like they've just had to use almost like they like these these tortoises are sort of a temporary inhabitant of the zoo and they 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 didn't want to build a permanent barrier so they've just kind of left some bits in like this that um that are kind of they've just they've gone through the warehouse you know and they've they've just kind of found whatever they've they can get to just pile up and just create this um this kind of barrier like this um Oh look, we've got a giant tortoise about to have some offspring, that's good. Yeah, I like this this kind of thing. Actually, that one is floating. I just need to... There we go, just bring that one into there. Cool. Oh, that looks pretty nice, actually. I like that. Um, actually, let me just... That rock there is floating a little bit as well, so I just want to just get a little bit more support on there. Yeah, let's get that to there. Right, so we've still got a couple of gaps. Maybe I can do another little pile of pallets in this gap here. I know it's a bit weird, but, you know, I'm okay with that. Uh, it's a little bit wonky. I'll tell you what, actually. let's Rather than trying to tilt all of those, what I'll do is just find a, a, a flat bit of rock that I can kind of insert underneath it and make it look like they're resting up on there and then I might actually just there you go, just lay that a bit we've actually got actually this rock over here is floating a little bit as well so I might just try and fill that in a bit as well let's just bring it down here and here there we go this is yeah there we go. That's, that's good just blend all that in as well good 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 that's looking cool so we've got two more gaps and you know what, I might just put some thick foliage, I reckon, in there. It doesn't all have to look super solid. I can I can just fill that in, can't I? Oh, look! Oh, that's so cute. We've got a little baby Galapagos tortoise. Is that not just the cutest? Oh, she's had two. <laughs> Fantastic. Two little babies there. How's the other one going? Uh, no babies for the other one yet. I think she's due any minute. Ah, someone has had offspring. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the other one. Oh, she's had two as well. So we've got four adorable little babies. Excellent. Right, I will turn their um, contraception on now. I think that is enough of those. 
So let's just come into here. Here we go. Don't want any more. It's always fun just to let them breed at the start though. Let me just check. I think I've done everyone else. Yeah, good. It's, yeah, it's nice to have them breed just so you can see what the babies look like and watch them grow up. It's always fun, isn't it? Great. Okay, let's get back to here then. And let's get some bushes. Um, you know that I'm going to use some, some arrow wood because I can't... I can't not really, can I? <laughs> you know me. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to this foliage. Oh no, look! A tortoise is escaping! <laughs> no! <laughs> I might have to move the barrier a little bit so they can't do that. That's fine. I'll sort that out in a minute. Right, let's just get that in there. Good. Alright, let's find some different bushes, shall we? I do like the crimson turkey stuff. Uh, this, this does look really nice, this stuff. So I'll just kind of fill it in a bit with that. Let's get one of them in there. Don't want to go too over the top. Want a bit of variety to the foliage. Let's just get some a couple of small bits as well. Let's get one up here. Uh, let's get a medium bit somewhere in here. Kind of fill this out like that. What do we got now? I don't want anything to too big. I like the cre the creosote stuff actually. That does look good. So let's get some of that in. I still need something quite big, I think, in that gap. Let's get one of them there. How's it looking from this side? A little bit empty here. Actually, this is quite a nice little bit of greenery here. Um, oh, the dog rose. This looks nice as well, doesn't it? It's a little bit lush, possibly, for this. Um, just sort of sandy ground but I do like it so let's let's go with some of that uh, this one is a, probably a bit more suitable really isn't it let's go medium here and let's ooh, we've got a big one don't yeah maybe a big one in this gap here and then I can get in maybe a little bit of this as well just to thicken that up there to fill the gap in and then maybe get a bit of that in there as well yeah, let's kind of layer that up a bit. Good, good, good. That looks nice. Still a little bit thin over here. Could probably do with yeah, a little bit of that there. Maybe a little bit in this gap here. Maybe a little bit here. This looks like they could walk over it, doesn't it? A little bit. I might just stick another um, another what's name on there. Another another plank. Another no, what's the word? What is the word? Another one of these is what I'm looking for. Something like that, just so it looks a little bit taller so they can't quite walk over it. Cool, okay. I'm liking that. Yeah, I think that's a good barrier. I'm quite happy with that. Now let me just check their traversable area. Yeah, so I might just need to move the barrier a little bit so that they, they don't come right up on this. So if I move this right into the middle here then it should uh, whoops it should stop them from trying to walk up and over all of this and hopefully the crocodiles won't either the, the crocodiles don't really come up onto this area much anyway so it's more the tortoises that I'm bothered about so let me just check again it still says they can escape but they can but they won't I don't think so that's fine. I don't. I don't think that's going to be an issue. It looks good actually. I'm pretty happy with that. I think this looks realistic from this side that the, the tortoises would not be able to get through this. Um, they can climb. I know they can, and they can dig. I have a tortoise myself. Actually, I have a couple of tortoises myself, um, and I know they they are masters at, at getting to where you're not meant to get to. Um, they they can climb very well, but uh, I'm I'm trusting these guys to not climb. Oh, look at the little ones. Oh, look at that. He's trying to reach over the top. That's so cute. I'm assuming they can. <laughs> it looks like he's eating, doesn't it? Yeah, look, he's having a munch there. That's good. <laughs> that is kind of cool, though. That they have to actually climb up on their, their legs like that. Cool. Okay, good. So that's our barrier in. That looks really nice. I'm very happy with that. And I'll continue this theme with the rock work around the rest of the habitat as well. I just wanted to get that barrier done. Um, I, I don't really like the brick here, actually. Um, 
let me just see what else is available for this I'm thinking maybe just the, the plain concrete looks a bit better or maybe the glass actually with the pillars actually there that, that looks a bit better doesn't it I like that yeah keep it keep it see-through and just have the solid concrete barriers um, as the pillars that looks good I like that much better yeah great good so obviously um, yeah more foliage to be done there I just want to get sort of the main structures of the, the places in first now this bridge here I feel like it does need it's some sort of support here or I, I was tempted to try and do some sort of suspension bridge thing with this or with this one but to be honest I don't think it's going to look very good and I don't think I'm, I'm a good enough builder to, to make it look good either so um, I might not do that but I do feel like it needs some some sort of support in the middle here somewhere um, and then something similar for this although this one obviously being over the, the the desert bit here there the beach bit I don't really want a support coming down so this one I might do something that comes sort of right to the sides uh, but this one I feel like actually no this one could come from the sides and keep this bit cleared oh, look, we've got one little crocodile coming up on here what have we got oh, a little dwarf caiman going up for a little wonder that's good I will put some enrichment up here to try and encourage the crocodiles and that to come out um, yeah so what uh, what sort of supports do we think um, let's have a look at beams what have we got in here we do have the nice big stone bits but they're a bit boring I'd, I'd like to try and be more creative than that we do have these they're basically the same things don't want they um, we've got wood no it needs to look more solid than that doesn't it whether I could do it with with rocks maybe what do we have there are um, there are these nice big pieces now whether I can do something hang on let's let's just play around with this for a second and see what happens whether I can whoops what I need to do is combine those two Um, I have no idea what I'm doing here really just trying to create like a long I don't know <laughs> I have no idea I don't know I'm just doing stuff um, just trying to get it to look supportive um, no 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 just no just no Adam just no that's that's rubbish <laughs> sorry <laughs> hey if you don't try you don't know do you uh, I don't know what else have we got let's have a look um, let's have a look at stone pieces let's see what we've got in our stone options here um, there are obviously there are sort of proper things like that but that's not gonna that's not gonna work is it um, I'd like something actually I tell you what I I like let's have a look something like this okay let's go with this let's come out if my computer would stop lagging that'd be nice let's come out to here and let's build something out here uh, I don't know if I'm using the right sort of pieces but this is this has a bit of potential I think I can line it all up properly I'm not sure how far I'm going to take this but I think maybe if I can get this from sort of do a full uh, a full 90 degree turn I think so that it then lays flat underneath the bridge 
that might look good. Why can I not line that bit up? Am I being really stupid or what? Probably. I usually am. There we go. Uh, okay, I think one more. No, two more. Right. And then that goes flat. Okay, um, it makes a nice looking arch and I'll tell you what I might then do just to make it a bit more interesting. Let's just combine that. I wonder if I can if I can do that and then just move that across. Now hang on, I need this to look Yeah, I need that to be, there we go. That's a bit more interesting, isn't it? All right, let's just put this in and see what we think. Um, right, I want to turn the angle snap off now. Get it down here. And then just get it in position roughly. And bring it down. Right, mm, probably, yeah, I need to just turn that a bit. I like it because it's the same sort of concrete that the uh, the top is made of, so it, it looks strong, you know, it looks like a, a good structure, it looks like it is really built at the same time, you know, like it's a good solid support structure. Yeah, I like that, that's cool. So let's bring another one over to this side. Let's get it spun round. Let's bring it across here. Uh, how do I want this one to look? I just probably want it to come out a bit more like that. Let's bring it across so it's on the middle. That roughly, yeah, like that. What do we think to that? I like that. Yeah, that's cool. I think a little bit of foliage and rock work growing around it as well. I think that will look really nice. Excellent, okay. I'll tell you what I might then do. Let's keep them at the same height so they will look the same. Let's bring it over and see if I can do the same here. Kind of makes sense that they would use the same structure for all these different pieces of bridge. Let's try and get that turned and lined up properly. Let's just turn that a bit more. Uh, let's just come down see there we go that's in the middle how does that look yeah I like that excellent okay and then I'm not sure how to do it here because we've got two bits of um, two bits of the pathway here that might need supporting I guess I want it kind of supporting them both at the same time something like that probably want it turn a bit more like so so this one is going to come more out of the ground here than the wall but that's fine I just want it to look strong like that yeah so that looks good to me that looks supportive let's angle that like that right what do we think let's just get that in yeah I like that I think that looks good it looks like it supports the weight Cool, oh, there we go, something a bit different. Nice, okay, good, so we're getting our structure in. Um, and I'll tell you what I might do, I'm just gonna test this to see whether I can use this for this structure at all. Not too sure how, I guess I need it to Yeah, I'm not sure this is really what's needed for this, but I'll, I'll persevere. I don't want it to block too much of the water, but I do want this structure to look strong, you know, like it is held up. Um, actually, yeah, I, I, I think 
let's let's try it. Let's hang on. Let's uh, let's come into this. I tell you what. Let's try and make this out of one thing with the angle snap. So if I duplicate that, spin it round. Uh, is that? Yeah, well, that's 180. Good. Let's bring that in to here. Just a little bit more. Try and match it up like that. Good. And then if I highlight the whole lot and do it again, and I think, yeah, just four of them like that, I think will make that structure look nice and strong. That's pretty cool, actually. Looks like a big, you know, like it's got legs. Right, let me just check. What's, uh, let's find the biggest animal. Actually, that's pretty big. Yeah, so it, it does block them off just a little bit, but they can still come through underneath and into the middle, which is the main thing. Let's just check the alligator. That's fine. Um, where is the saltwater crocodile when you need one? Uh, okay, I can't see any. Ah, here we go. Yes, good. Let's just check him. Good, yeah, he can still swim through there as well. Fantastic. Okay. Well, that was good. That was productive. I like that. It's nice when you try these things and it all works out. And it looks good. That's the main thing. I, d I didn't want to just put straight pillars on these things, you know. You, I want to try and come up with new looking things, new ideas, using new materials and creating new shapes, that kind of thing. Um, actually, this staircase probably needs some support as well. So actually, I might just get one of these... Oops, let's get the angle snap off. Um, get one of these on here as well. Just have it coming out of the cliff, I think, and supporting the stairs there. Let's just sink that a little bit. I don't know, what do we think? Not really seeing it there, are we? Actually, it might be better if I do have it like this and bring it across and yeah have it kind of like that so it's like creates like an archway here with the stairs I think that works okay actually looks supportive which is what it's there for let's just, hang on, let's just bring that out so I can get it lined up properly that's almost straight just a little twist there we go and just sink that in so it disappears. What do we think? Again, yeah, a little bit of foliage around that and just blend it in a bit and that will look really nice. Good. Right, so that's our stairs supported, I think. Although, yeah, we've got quite a long staircase here. I think I can get away with that because it's supported at the top here. I reckon you could get that whole staircase like that. I don't think that needs anything and it won't look good so let's leave that but I think these other ones all look pretty decent actually and I like that I've managed to use the same one all the way around it keeps the theme going doesn't it which is good Ooh, okay we're doing well how are our little tortoises getting on good they're using their food things over here that's good to see oh look we've got a little baby one here sorry dodgy camera work I think our little baby has been nibbling on some food here I love that people can get nice and close to them. <laughs> I love it when they sleep as well. They, they just, I love that. Look at that. Just drop their head down to the floor, collapse and just fall asleep. Brilliant. Which is exactly what tortoises do. <laughs> My little tortoise here it does exactly that. She'll just find herself a corner and she'll just fall asleep in it. Just flops to the floor and passes out. Great. Okay, good. Oh, we're looking pretty good. So that's our main sort of structure work done. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, let's just come in here actually. Uh, the episode is going to end in a second, but I might just see what I can do in here quickly. Um, so lighting wise, I will do my usual, I think, in here. I, I do like the blue, I think, in, in the caves. I think it does look really nice. So just a couple of these in here just to provide a little bit of cave lighting. Um, and then some orange actually out in this cave I think yep 
yeah. That doesn't seem to be on. I think that's maybe because it's not night time. Let me just put it to night time and make sure those lights are actually going to work. Yeah, there we go. That does good. Yes, yeah, so you get the blue at the black, uh, the blue at the back, and then the orange actually in the habitat. That's good. And then we've got to put some glass panels in. Um, I, I quite like the the one that looks all kind of smashed up. Actually, do I want? Let's have a look. Think. Do I want to try and be clever and do some curved panels? Maybe? No, nah, probably not. Where is the one that I'm thinking of? Um, there's a panel that looks all higgledy piggledy. I'm using that word again. Uh, here we are, this one. Yeah, I like this one. So, let's have a think. I probably want it, yeah, blending in at the top and flat at the bottom makes sense. So let's take it quite close to the pathway, I would say. Um, and let's, let's, I'll do some rock work at the end, but let's take it to there. And then I will just copy it along, I think, like this, because then I can, I can angle it appropriately. So something like that. How does that look from this side? Yeah, that looks good. And then another one into there. And that'll do, and then I can get some rocks at that end as well. Good. Right, how does it oh, excuse me, how does that look? That looks pretty funky, doesn't it? I like that. So you come down. Yeah, that's good. I'll probably get a couple of a couple of um snack machines down here it's usually a, a good way of getting people to come down isn't it so let's get a, a little maybe a vending machine at the end here or actually i can get them right on the on the back like this can't i and then a food one as well what have we got oh let's get a chip machine in at the back here as well there we go that looks good just to try and encourage people to come down here uh, let's get a bin at the end here as well. Cool, okay. And then obviously I'll come in and I'll do a bit of, maybe a bit of rock work along the base here, cover up the floor and then at the back here as well. Just a little bit of sort of flat rock work around here, get it all blended in. Uh, Let's just check their area. Good, yeah, so it doesn't affect their area. They can all still come in here. And I'm going to assume that this is going to class as a nice shelter. Yeah, I don't I don't know if this shelter thing is really working. They're not, it's, it, it doesn't display that as a sheltered area, but clearly it is. Uh, and clearly they're using it. So I'm, I'm fine with that. As long as they're using it, that's what matters. Um, not many people coming down here anymore. That, which is a shame. Seems like as soon as you build these places, everyone floods to them, and then suddenly they they don't get used as much anymore, which is a shame. Um, I mean, people are coming down here still, which is good. I guess they're still using the shops. But yeah, not so many down here. But never mind. I can't really make people come down. Um, actually, I will just while I'm here, while I'm thinking about it, let's just get a bench in as well. Just one more reason why someone might come down there. I mean, you would though, wouldn't you? Look at that. I mean, look at that view. You'd want to just get a, a nice view of the animals in here. Especially if they're moving like that, because they rarely do. Um, what else have we got in here? We've got a Nile monitor here. Another one here. What are these ones? Ah, oh, the dwarf caiman as well, yeah. It's nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm really enjoying this habitat, actually. It's um, something a bit different, isn't it? And it's coming along really nicely. Look at that, it looks cool already, doesn't it? And you're getting two habitats for the price of one because I've chucked in the bonus tortoises as well. So yeah, it's all sort of happening at once. Still an awful lot to do though. So still a lot of decoration to do, lots of rock work, lots of foliage. Um, I need to sort this beach out, get some enrichment items on here. 
Um, I wanted to create a little walkway along here for staff to use to get to the beach as well. I know they can get there, but it will look better if they're walking on proper platform. So I'll create a little sort of a wooden planked platform, I think, along there. Then there's going to be a lot of decorating to do around these two shop areas, um, especially this one at the top here that I want to make really look like a marketplace. Um, and then, yeah, all around the top as well. I've got to work out where the train's going. So at the moment, the train comes along here and then it goes off to the left here, but I don't want it doing that. I want it to come around to the right um, and probably come around the top of this, um, this cove here. Uh, and then maybe skirt along the top of this and then out here somewhere. Uh, and eventually I'll smooth all this off and have some pathways coming up here and that will lead to this area of the zoo. Um, I'd like to use this bit. I'd like to get uh, a, a pathway up here somewhere and, and use this area and have a little habitat up here of some sort. Find a, a small animal that I can put up, up, up on the hill here as well. Um, you know, I, I want to really squeeze things in, you know, make sure every bit of land is being used for an animal of some sort. So I reckon I can fit something up here, whether it's, um, I don't know, Possibly even a, another another small monkey might actually work up here because we've got all these trees that might be climbable. Depends whether I can have it so they can sort of come down to here and no further. Uh, but mm, might might not quite work. I mean they they don't escape, so that's that is a good thing, obviously. So I can I can sort of control them. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see. I'll decide that at some point. Um, but for now, I'm going to call the episode to an end there. I think. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, are you uh, are you are you liking this? Do you like what I did with the barrier? I think this has worked out really nicely. Actually, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, if you've got any thoughts or ideas on what I'm doing in this area, um, yeah, so please please let me know. And if you've enjoyed the episode and if you're liking the series, if you like what I'm doing here, then please continue hitting the like button. Uh, it really does help get the channel out to more people. I'm over 400 subscribers now, which is really, really good. I'm so thankful to you all for uh, subscribing to the channel. So thank you so much for that. Um, you know, I'm obviously I'm looking at, um, at building the channel up as much as I can. I need to reach a thousand. Um, that's the next target. Obviously, that's when you can start making a, a little bit of money out of the, the advertising as well, which I need because I've just bought a house and I've got a baby on the way. So I do need every penny I can get. And I know I'm never going to be doing this as a job. Um, but, you know, if I can make a few pennies here and there, then that's all going to help as well, isn't it? And it does mean that I can dedicate even more time to it, too, which is always going to be good. Um, but for now, just thanks for your continued support uh, and your ideas. Please do keep them coming. And uh, please do join me in the next episode. Until then, take care and I will see you soon.